Hi, in this tutorial uh, we'll share how you can actually change your design in the design block. Okay, um, if you want to start designing your, uh, your app, the first thing that you could do is select a starting point. Um, you can select that under the green block, um, you'll see the general settings and there you can select a skin. If I tap on a skin, I'll have different starting points or skins that I can actually start from, as you can see. For this uh, uh, for this tutorial, uh, I would like to start with the default skin. Reconnecting my previewer, and here is the starting point for this app. There are three levels that you can uh, change uh, uh, your design in this app. On the top level, these are the global settings. Uh, that's the green block. Uh, you can change all the colors. And all the navigate, uh, all the uh, uh, navigation bars and backgrounds within your app. Um, if you only want to change your home screen, uh, you can adjust that uh, on the uh, blue block, and uh, here you can change different settings just for your home screen. It also includes changing a navigation style. We have a list style here now, but we have different ones to choose from, and I'll go into that uh, a bit later. On the uh, uh, third level, uh, you can also change the designs um, in uh, for uh, the separate blocks. So, for instance, I can change the settings for a video, and I can change the, the uh, colors in Twitter. Uh, but let's start changing your app uh, on the top level, and that's the green block, and we'll change the design settings there. So we'll focus on color and navigation bar. So let's start changing the colors here. And I'll start on the home screen. Um, I would like to create a blue app. So I'm going to change the text color here into blue. You can see it's easily with, done with a color picker. And if you know the exact code uh, that you would like to use, uh, you can actually add that here. And for now, I'll use this color. There you go. And you see that the uh, titles that I'm changing now are changing in my live view as well. I would like to add the same color also to the body text. Right. You see that that doesn't have any impact on the home screen, so I'm going to change, for instance, to Twitter. And here you can see the changes um, that I made. I also see that the uh, alternating supporting color here isn't really readable. So I would like to have a darker color there. Yeah, that's better. So that's the darker color that I've selected. So these are the text settings that I that I can do. So the next one uh, that I can influence is the list view. And the list view are actually the cells that you see here. So every tweet is a, uh, is a cell within the list view. And I would like to have those uh, alternating. So I'll keep the uh, cell there in white, but on the alternating color, I'm going to do a gray color there. You can see it has instant impact. There. Press save. And then you see the alternating colors also uh, reflecting on the home screen. And I can also influence the cell separator. I would like to have the same color that I use in the body for the cell separator. There as well as the icons and also the button style there you see that reflects straight away and uh, when I press the button I would like to have a darker blue as a pressed style and I'll just Give the blue one to the click style as well. There we go. 
save that. All right, so I've now changed the, uh, the, uh, the colors uh, throughout the app. And you see that in the video building block uh, that everything is, uh, is blue, and the background is white, um, as well as uh, on Twitter. And also the alternating rows as well as when I go deeper into the app, see that everything is influenced. Okay, so this concludes our uh, video tutorial on how to change your colors in the design uh, blog. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, uh, looking forward to your apps.